Hello, this is Renegade Operative here and welcome to a brief channel update. I just need to clarify three quick things before I go on my way and enjoy the rest of my day. Number one is that less plays are going to take a little bit of a delay. That's because my TV right now is busted and I need something. I need like a television or a monitor right now so I can go ahead and record gameplay footage and I don't have one at the moment. I only have one sole monitor, but I need two. So that's the problem that I'm having right now. Because this TV is busted, that means that streams and let's plays are going to get delayed for the month of April. I readily apologize if people have been watching the Horizon Zero Dawn or Spider-Man 2 streams, but I cannot do them at the moment. I still have my new Elgato and it still works perfectly, but I just don't have a TV. So you have to just basically forgive me on this one because it was something unexpected that happened and I didn't fit a new TV into my budget so I have to deal with it for at least four weeks. Next we're going to segue into this new schedule now for those that are unaware I have a new schedule where I do things on my channel and my group channel the cooperative experience. Mondays I'm going to upload whatever I need to on this channel same for Tuesdays. So Monday and Tuesdays are going to be YouTube days where I have to upload a video or some idea to my own personal channel. Monday nights, however, I'm supposed to do a cinematic experience every Monday night with the guys. So that means that we watch either a good movie or a bad movie and we upload that audio commentary that following night. Tuesdays is also supposed to be a day where I do something extra. So that's where I'm going to live stream on Tuesdays. So be on the lookout for that as well. And all of this can compensate for being videos for the channel. So if I live stream something on Tuesday, it can count for YouTube content. Wednesdays I'm off. Thursdays is TCP streams. So that means that I am supposed to do a live stream or the guys are supposed to do a live stream on Thursday. Fridays is going to be TCP content. So that means that we either do a let's play or something for Fridays or we do something akin to the podcast. We do a podcast on there and we just upload it for that day. And the same can account for Saturday as well. So Sundays, I'm also off. So keep that also in mind. And I'm saying so a lot. So, 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 so motherfucking so. All right, <laughs> I'm having a little fun here. In the end, that is our schedule, and that is the schedule we're going to be sticking to for the Renegade Operative and the Cooperative Experience account. It might be a little inconsistent, and interviews really don't count on any day. It could be on a day where I'm off, and if I have to do an interview, so be it, because it's really hard to keep track of all the people we interview, and sometimes time is very important to these people so we have to interview them on certain days and some things might get scrapped but those are the breaks we have to get that done so interviews it avoids the schedule entirely so keep that in mind everything's going to be on a bi-weekly format meaning that one week we do content and the next week we don't this is to give me a break because i feel as though Having a weekly schedule where I'm doing videos every week has been draining. As much as I love doing content for the masses on YouTube, I will admit it's been pretty draining. And not doing it on a bi-weekly format is readily impossible for me. I, I don't like it. I don't like the fact of doing things on a weekly format. And even I admit it not too long ago on Twitter that doing things weekly was a huge mistake for me. I thought I could do it, but I just can't. So I'm going back to bi-weekly. That means that once again, one week I do content, one week I don't. We continue to process for the entire month, unless it's something that is very important and critical, like an interview or something that we really need to talk about or discuss or do. There will be exceptions to the rule, but that's how it is now. Last but not least, a lot of people have been wondering, am I going to finish less plays like Urban Rain, Red Dead Revolver, Manhunt, all that good stuff? And the answer is, yes, I will finish them, but in due time. 
it wasn't until really about a year when I finished my Resident Evil remake Let's Play. That's because I needed time to really just get back into the game, make some good jokes, entertain, be informative. All this stuff takes time and doing Let's Plays back and forth like day in and day out, it was quite the burnout. I think I might revisit all these Let's Plays that people ask me to finish sometime in the summer and they should be completed or at least some of them should be completed by the end of the year because I need more time. I need to pace myself. I am sort of thinking about doing another Let's Play to fill in the gap for April because my TV is broken. So I might just play The Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction out of sheer fun and have some stupid moments with that game because once again I have my television broken so I can't record but I can record on PC that is no problem for me so I might pick up the pieces from there there are games as well I also lost my save too like Marlo Briggs unfortunately I lost my save to that game so I absolutely have to start it over and get back to the point where I was before so people looking forward to some games like Marlo Briggs and Fury be reminded that I lost my save because my computer decided to derp out and those saves got deleted. For that sole reason alone, there will be less plays that will take me longer to revisit if I lost my saves. But when I get back to that point, I'm eventually going to finish those off too. At best, I think all the less plays I started will be at least finished before the end of next year. Another thing that might alleviate doing so many Let's Plays and having them put on the back burner is live streaming. Live streaming has been a huge help. Even though there's been some tech issues, even though there's been some problems, live streaming has been pretty chill for the most part. I love coming in and talking to people. I love coming in and giving insight to what I think about comics, movies, what's going on on social media and video games. And I think I'm going to keep on that live streaming aspect with certain games like Spider-Man 2, like Horizon Zero Dawn. And I'm going to finish those to completion and also add some new tidbits here or there. So I'm just not stuck editing videos. Last but not least, one-offs will return. There are some playthroughs out there that I know I am not going to finish. There are playthroughs out there that I know I just can't get through because it's way too extensive for me. Therefore, one-offs will come back. Renegade plays will come back for certain games that I don't have the time to do a let's play on, so it might be a one-off. This is Renegade Operative signing off. Hopefully everyone enjoyed the update with the stuff that's going on with let's plays. We'll get through it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the new schedule and hopefully the Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction is a pleasant surprise because I never played that game before. And also, one more thing, I did manage to pick up Ultimate Spider-Man. I'm holding the game right now, and it might be perfect live stream material. I'm really looking forward to cracking this game open and seeing what entails in the Spider-Man experience because I never played Ultimate Spider-Man before. Once again, I hope you guys really enjoyed this and I'm going to get out of here because I really am looking forward to playing some more goddamn video. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.